Hello guys, you might be wondering what this video is all about and here we have two uh, super zoom lenses, the Tamron G2 150-600 and we've got the Sigma Contemporary here. Now I've got the 90D camera here and we've also got the 7D Mark II here. What I want to do is show you the autofocus performance through the mirror. Obviously these cameras are basically SLRs, digital SLRs, uh, single reflex uh, single lens reflex cameras and what I want to do is show you the focus now I've managed to set up my camcorder that we're recording on now so it can actually film through the viewfinder so you can have a look at focus speed for yourself but what I'm finding is on SLRs the G2 lens actually is quite quick it's not as quick as the Sigma so I'll show you examples of that um, shortly but I just want to you know, quickly test it while we're talking to you on, on camera um, in terms of focusing. So I've set up with some pull balls that we're going to have a look at in, in a minute. You'll see that for yourself. I know it's really difficult for me to um, show you but while I'm talking about it. Um, and it can be not so a bit frustrating your part because you're not seeing what I'm seeing. But I'll show you that in a bit. But I just want to go through these lenses and see how quick they focus. Now, it's set up about 4 metres away, um, and we've got the beep focus sound, so it should give you a rough idea on how quick it focuses. So let's defocus the uh, Sigma. The minimum focus is 2.8 metres, we're probably about 4 metres away. Uh, let's just defocus it and see how quick the 7D Mark II focuses. 1, 2, 3, go. Okay. That's pretty quick. Let's uh, go to infinity focus, all the way to infinity. Try that again. One, two, three, go. Okay, fairly quick. Um, and we'll do the same on the Tamron now. Um, but before I do that, let's turn this off and let's put the 90D on there so you can get an idea of how quick focus is. Okay, we're we'll set up. So let's defocus that again. One, two, three, go. Really quick. Now let's go to infinity. One, two, three, go. Okay, really quick. So let's do that again with the Tamron G2 lens and see how well it does using the mirror focusing system on the 7D Mark II and the 90D. Um, obviously you've already seen my video regarding um, the EOS R because it, to be honest with you this is really slow on the EOS R the Tamron 150-600 G2 lens and I'm going to tell you why because this lens was not compatible with mirrorless cameras. Now Tamron have updated this lens um, uh, with the firmware update which means if your lens doesn't work you can get a firmware update to get this lens to work on mirrorless cameras like the EOS R, the R6 and R5 and possibly the uh, one hour when that comes out um, but even so, even with that update this lens does perform quite slow and in my opinion, and I, you can check those examples out for yourself this lens can't compete with the Sigma for speed on mirrorless cameras However, I want to find out how it does with SLRs. So let's take this um, lens off um, and let's have a look at the Tamron G2. Okay, we've got the uh, Tamron G2 uh, 150-600 lens set up with the 7D Mark II. Um, so I want to give you uh, an audible um, example of how quick it can focus, you know, and I know you can't see, but we'll, we'll, I'll show you those examples that are filmed on my camcorder through, through the viewfinder. I know it's not great quality, but it should give you an idea of focus speed. But I just want to see how well it does. So, without further ado, let's defocus the lens to minimum focus, which is 2.2 meters. And let's just see how quickly it does. One, two, three, go. Okay pretty quick, not bad at all. Uh, let's go to infinity, see how that does, all the way to infinity. One, two, three, go! 
Okay, a bit slower but we got there in the end. So I want to see how it does with the 90D, so let's turn that off and let's put the 90D camera on there which um, is a newer camera so it probably is a little bit faster. Um, what I will say is on the 7D Mark II it did feel like an infinity focus was a bit slower than say it was on the Sigma Contemporary. So let's just see where we're at at the moment set up because we need, need to just readjust this because it's a smaller camera. Okay, we're on there now. So this is a 90D. Uh, let's defocus the lens again. Now we're set up. Uh, I'm just taking um, some focus tests of um, some small pool balls that I've got, got on the top of my um, um, fireplace just to see how focus speed is. So without further ado, let's, let's try that. So we've gone to in, uh, minimum focus of 2.2 meters. So let's just see how that does. One, two, three, go. Okay, it's a tiny bit slower than the Sigma Contemporary in, in my eyes, but I'll show you that in a minute. So let's just go to infinity focus again. One, two, three, go. Okay. It's, uh, I would say, it's quite a bit slower than, say, the Sigma Contemporary. Not by much, but a little bit. Um, in terms of how both cameras are performing, they're pretty much equal. I don't think there's any difference um, in terms of focusing through the mirror. Um, so, the reason I wanted to do this video is to give you an idea of how the lens performs um, through the mirror focusing system, the primary focusing system of these two SLRs that we've got here. Um, obviously I've done a test on mirrorless and it's not too great the Tamron G2 lens even with their firmware update. Um, so what you can take away from this is on digital SLRs I don't think you're going to be too disappointed in terms of focus speed. It's, it's relatively pretty decent. However, um, if you was to compare it to the Sigma Contemporary you might make your mind up and think that the Sigma is a bit faster. Um, but when it comes to mirrorless cameras, and if you were to test both, both focusing systems, you're going to be really disappointed with the Tamron. I'm, I really believe that. Um, it is about three seconds acquisition time on mirrorless to, to acquire focus, where the Sigma probably does it in about 1.5 seconds. Um, a, a long distance, a close, closer distance, say where your focus is, is very close or just off a little bit, pretty much dead on super fast um, on the Sigma contemporary lens that we've got here. So, so which would I recommend you go for, for future proofing? I would say the obvious um, thing to go for would be the Sigma contemporary lens. Um, it performs far better on mirrorless cameras and if you plan on getting a mirrorless camera in the future you're going to want to go for the Sigma. Unfortunately I am I'm going to have to concede that I am disappointed with the Tamron lens. Now I have reached out to Tamron via email and haven't had a response which is disappointing and that response that email was sent about two weeks ago, no response from them at all. So I hope you found this video informative regarding the focusing and I hope to see you in another video. Thank you. Right, we're just going to have a look at the Sigma 150-600 to with the 90D on. I just want to test the actual mirror focusing system here. So we're just set up on this pool ball. I know it's not great quality in the video, um, but I just want to show you um, how quick this can focus versus the Tamron um, using the um, mirror focusing system rather than using the EOS as um, mirrorless system obviously because um, we've determined that the Tamron is quite a bit slower but I want to have a look at the mirror focusing system on, on my 7D Mark II and my 90D to determine which is quicker. Now is this lens a slow lens in terms of focusing? And I think 
The answer is probably not. But let's just um, test the focus. So let's defocus it. Minimum focus is 2.8 meters. We're about probably three, three, three meters possibly away from from the subject matter. So I'm defocusing it just to see how quick focus is. One, two, three, go. That's quick. Okay, let's go to infinity focus. All the way to infinity. Let's see how quick that does. One, two, three, go. Okay, that's pretty quick. And let's just go to uh, minimum focus again. Let's just see how that does. One, two, three, go. And there you go. It's really quick. Right, we're on the 7D Mark II, looking through the viewfinder on the 7D Mark II. On the 150-600 G2 Tamron lens at 600mm. Uh, I've just showed you the 90D performance, which is really quick. Um, but I also want to show you the performance on the 7D, 7D Mark II. Obviously, we've already looked at the uh, EOS R full frame camera, so we've determined that focus on this particular camera on mirrorless is not great. But let's have a look at through its primary focusing system on the uh, the 7D Mark II and see how that does. So let's defocus the um, to the minimum focus of 2.2 meters on the Tamron. Let's just focus that and see how it does. One, two, three, go. Very quick. Okay, let's go to infinity focus. Let's try that again. One, two, three, go. Okay, fairly quick. And let's just go to minimum focus again. Distance wise, we're probably about three to four meters away, something like that. One, two, three, go. Okay, so as you can see, it's fairly quick.